I was the lead in a film which I won Best Actress for um, in New Zealand. That was the first New Zealand Chinese uh, film that was made you know, for New Zealand audiences, so that was a big landmark. But even before then I was doing like smaller roles within really awesome indie films, so I was lucky, yeah. During that time I was doing university at the same time, you know, because I was like, ah, I want to be sensible, but I'm also having a really great time being an actor. Um, and then once I finished my university, I kind of just had the itch, like I, I was thinking, okay, well I've done New Zealand, I've done Australia, maybe I should just dip my toe in America and see what it's about. I really spent that time in New York kind of just like diversifying my creative um, focus, like I art directed fashion editorials and um, worked in production on commercials and yeah, just kind of like collected life experiences, which I think is really important for an actor because you, you bring all that with you into the roles that you inhabit. Right? The desperation in New York of like earning enough money to survive kind of makes you super bold. And I remember walking into interviews and being like, oh, yep, I could totally produce that commercial. Like not really realizing that the level of commercials I'd worked on in New Zealand was probably like a tenth of what the New York scene was. But I think it wasn't ego, it was just sort of like misplaced confidence because it was so green. So I came out to LA, which was a huge culture shock. I, I really was super naive. I hadn't really prepared myself for what being in this big a city, let alone this big an industry, was going to be like. It was built as a web series, so I had no idea that there was any affiliation with any big television franchise or anything. I really loved the character, but the sides were what, the, what we call in the industry dummy sides. So basically, they took the essence of what they were looking for, but instead of putting it in a zombie setting, which would have totally given it away, my character was like a very agitated woman in a train station who was being bothered by this young boy. Alex in Flight 462 was such a juicy role for me because she was so badass and hardened and cold. So in the web series, before I knew that she was going to be anything bigger than that, when I read the whole script for the web series, I was like, okay, she's the hero. And by that, I mean, I don't mean that she's the one who's going to save everyone. I mean, she's the one who's action-oriented. She's the one who's always thinking the next step ahead, not sitting back in the circumstances and kind of freaking out. And I feel like that placed me in the right energy level for her. It's a dream come true to be on the red carpet as a nominee at the Emmys. But then to also be at this point in my life where it's, I'm pregnant with my first kid. Being an actor in LA is full of surprises and it just goes to show you can never know where a job will take you and it's so great to say yes. With the opportunity to maybe become a series regular, like maybe become the survivor of this web series and then catapult into the actual series, it was the hugest opportunity.